Good morning. This uh, gospel is really challenging to me today because um, sometimes you, you know you can really get interested, or at least I do, in what it will be like when the Lord returns. You can almost hear that in the voices of the Pharisees um, who are always testing Jesus. And his own disciples are probably looking, they're thinking of the kingdom in a way that we can often think of it um, as a physical kingdom. You know. And uh, one day there will be a sense in which that is true, but right now the kingdom is a person. You know, this is a very personal statement about our faith. The kingdom is ultimately God and in the person of Jesus Christ, him and his body. That's the kingdom. And that is present among us any time we proclaim that kingdom verbally, inviting people to church, praying for them, telling them about the faith, about Christ, but also any time we will the good of the other for the sake of the other. Authentic love. Anytime those acts of authentic love are done in Christ's name, the kingdom is present. You know, so often the kingdom's standing right in front of you, right? Or at least the call to the kingdom to love that person that might be difficult. Or the kingdom that is something that you receive in, in an act of love from another person. Or the kingdom is a discussion about prayer or about Christ or maybe about difficult things and how God is present in them. That's how the kingdom is present. And I think the focus should not be so much on trying to figure out what it's going to be like when Jesus comes back, but on fulfilling the Lord's prayer in our lives. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Anytime God's will is done, the kingdom is there because his will is perfect love. His will is his son. I hope that God blesses you today. God bless you.